If you're watching this and you're in a regional town, good on you. Supporting the no. little guy. Fuck you, you're worthless. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Matt, chime in on uh, rural Regi- towns. What's your stance on regional towns? I'm indifferent towards regional towns. I um, mm. don't feel like I need to visit them, but I'm also don't feel like I need to uh, insult them either. That's yeah. they're the backbone of this economy. Yeah, classic yeah, Matt, probably, just str- yeah. straight down the middle on this one. A classic yeah. fence sitter. Don't pick a side. No. Yeah. Where are you getting your smashed avo from? Huh? I smash it myself. Uber. We get I import the, avo, the pre-smashed avo. <laughs> I import all my all my avos. <laughs> um, you got to. I'll, sh- I'll show you after the podcast. But your boy invested in a uh, a real unnecessary purchase today. Oh please! Was it a Tell microphone? Us, show, Was show it a splitter? Right now. Was it something that can um, make you listenable? It's not going to work. But I'll send you a photo of it, Matt, and you can uh, insert it here. No, no, I, I, I can't. Just, just like I said in the message not so long ago, my computer died. So I'm recording this on my laptop, which means I do not have that editing capability. Ben, how dare you? Are we expecting? Should should the viewers be expecting bare bones, Matt, this week? This is bare bones. You should be expecting a raw dogging, no lube. Oh wow! <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking the other night, um, and I was going to message you guys, but I was too like stoned and couldn't get my words together properly. Um, we can have that lunch. You know that lunch that Jeff gave us money for? We're mm-hmm. all going to be in the same city like next weekend. Yeah, <laughs> let's let's do a luncheon. Let's get that let's get that going for just the tip luncheon. Oh, I'm yeah. not invited to the wedding. I ha- didn't you? Weren't you aware? Oh, I caught the start of that. Yeah. What was the it's, result of that conversation? This was, this was juicy. I pretty much went up to him. I said, mm-hmm. um, so oh, I'm just checking. Am I invited to the wedding? And I got that look and I was like, good. I just wanted to know. So, no, yeah. you didn't. He gave you an answer. No, he was like, he was starting to talk, but I was talking to someone else and I couldn't, I was trying to tell them to shut the fuck up so I could listen <laughs> over here. <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted that popcorn moment. Yeah. That's it, why it, was, it was 20 seconds of awkwardness, but, you know, apparently he'd been thinking about it. I didn't even think that the thought had crossed his mind. Oh, so I brought it up with him. Oh, okay. I reminded him. Oh, well, I didn't remind him. I told him that, yeah, Ben wanted to come to the wedding, but then I asked him what your fiance's name was and he couldn't answer it. It's all right. Did you say that to him? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's... I know her name, and I won't say I won't embarrass her, but I know her. Yeah, name. Well, it does, I don't, it's not I, I, I don't think he does. I think he's. I think he's. <laughs> yeah, there's one. I think he's bluffing. There's one <laughs> vowel that starts with a C and ends in two double letters. Okay, okay. All, all right, that's yeah, close. Right. That's pretty all close. Right. He's fine. All right, he's fine. Um, but <laughs> that's so far. I said to him, I was like, even though I'm not invited to your wedding, I want you to know that one day in the future you're invited to my wedding. Yeah. <laughs> <that's fair. laughs> That's fair. He can take his licks. Well, Darian, don't hold your breath. Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't hold your breath. <laughs> but <laughs> time fair, soon. Fair, I know where I stand. I know where I stand. Man, yeah. Mike, if it was your wedding and you didn't know, you'd be like, listen, we're going to find a way. We'll fucking get a plastic chair if we have to. We'll squeeze you in there. Oh, yeah. my wedding? You think I'd get a plastic chair for you? I don't know, man. Plastic chairs are expensive. Do you have dietary requirements? Not nah, easy, boy. Oh, I don't know. Even now, I don't know. Mm, yeah. <laughs> What There's kind of gift types. are you going to get me? Are you going to get me a shitty rainbow bear? Two types of wedding. One <laughs> with me and one without me. Why did you insist on putting that rainbow bear outside away from all the other gifts? I didn't realize there was a gift table. This, if you were to look slightly to your left, you saw the gift yeah, table. I never went in the house. I just walked in. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I just put it on a chair. And then later, this chick's just sitting on it, mushing it. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like hey. You're mushing it. Yeah, no, you're basically sitting on the best gift here. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not the best gift. Welcome to best... another episode of Just a Tip. I'm your host, Mike. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> just pretend there's me? music here. Pretend yes. there's music. Pretend there's a graphic. <laughs> da, 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 ba, ba, da, da, da. Joining me, as always, by Matthew. Matthew, how you doing? I'm doing good. And yeah. I've decided uh, to, I'm going to come at this week episode uh in a completely different way i'm i new laptop new tipping strategy new mm. preparation new me nah. everything's new yeah love nice. it. same old shirt yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but I'll, I'll tell you why because 
uh, whatever I'm doing at the moment so far in tipping is not is not goddamn working because I'm free falling down this ladder. Can we Good. do Join anything, us. anything today but rugby league stuff? Let's have an off tangent. I'm taking this. I'm derailing this. Any opportunity possible. Expect expect some real damage control here. Sorry. Okay. Derail that. And join gotcha. with me. Uh, a man who's going to treat this podcast like he's treated his life the last 10 years, Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome, ladies. How you doing, gentlemen. Benjamin? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Feeling good. This is my first um, little thing since back in Australia, I believe. I've been absent. Oh, um, that whistle. That whistle's so bad, dude. Can you please just figure something out, please? Keep um, talking. Keep talking. Yeah. I can't edit this out. Chooks are in the news this week. Have you seen this, Benny? Chook, chookies are in the news. Which one do you want to get to first? The good news or the I've bad news? Avoiding, let me talk. I've been avoiding rugby league. And, let you talk. Yeah, I've been avoiding rugby league. I'm, I'm put off it. My tipping has gone to shit. I've completely capitulated. I'm mm-hmm. basically self-sabotaging at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm vengeful. I'm absolutely, you know... It's right. making me go out and buying stupid things. All right. Well, I'm going to start with the bad news. Uh, guess who is going to be replacing Luke Keary next year? Mm. I don't know. You don't know? No, this is fresh news for me. It's Chad Townsend. Signed with the really? Roosters for next year. Yeah. He's still going? <laughs> He's still going. He's still, yeah. still he going. Strong. This was today. This is today news. Wow. Uh, yeah, he had a clandestine meeting with the Bulldogs. Uh, and the Chookies mm. jumped on him this afternoon. Uh, so I think next year and the year after, Chad Townsend, potentially. It might be one year. I think it's two years. God, how old is this man? Same age as us, which is old as fuck, I think. Yeah, oh, we are old as fuck. Yeah, uh, I can't wait I, for the yeah, walk. Not a fan, not a fan. Not a fan. Very mid-halfback, but experienced, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Should help suppose, the baby wizard. Yeah, he's just there to help the baby wizard achieve his uh, teenage wizard level i guess but hopefully yeah. they got him for a good deal oh yeah you'd be getting him for a good deal i think this off. is going to be controversial i think i think we're done with robo really Let him, sure? don't, don't give him the don't don't give him the shame of a mid-season sack but at the no. end of the year give him the old joe biden tap on the shoulder yeah and yeah you know who's next i mean it's... eels are fucking struggling to replace the coach that they sacked who are you going to replace him with Holbrook's sitting there. You want Holbrook there? No, we need some new blood. I feel like it's mm. NRL is like a politics. It's just the same blood gets so stale. We did the same. I thought, I thought you were going to say NRL it's, is like an incestuous family. We need a bit of new blood in this thing. Mm. It's toxic. Same blood. Yeah. Where, 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 where I are you yeah. looking at? You're looking at the stars, thinking about Zach and Robbo. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he is. Yeah. <laughs> I do think that it is the dawn of a new era where we elect um, coaches through lottery. Okay. Of the general public. Anybody yeah. from okay. the general public gets to um, register in a ballot to be and they've got to they've got to only they can only choose one team when they register the ballot. And if that coach gets sacked, and then they go basically into a lottery. Um, yeah, so the next coach of the Parramatta Eels is Mike Hargraves. Ah, Brisbane. Fuck. fuck. <laughs> Congratulations, Could have sworn Mike. I put my name in for the Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Um, Matt, thoughts on Chad Townsend to the Roosters? Yeah, I mean, it's probably a good signing. If, they, if Assuming they're getting for a good deal. I mean, you look at what Kieran Foran's done for the Titans, right? Like, mm. arguably, you know, they signed him. Everyone was like, oh, are you sure? And, like, he's probably holding that place together. So, uh, Roosters, I'm oh, sure yes. they'll they'll put Chad Towns in a good work, pass on some experience. Obviously, Sam Walker's not yet at the stage where he can run the team by himself. And maybe he will be in two years when Chad leaves. Yeah. Uh, good news? You want the good news for the Roosters? Good news. Like Angus Crichton gets that D fee money. Signs Yay. for another two years. Gets the D fee money. Well done, Angus. Bravo. Yeah, well deserved. Wangus, Wangus Crichton. Wangus Cumpton uh, <laughs> gets that D fee money. Congratulations, Angus. And you know what I think it's time for? Trip to What's... Amsterdam. 
Let's go celebrate yeah. the new deal. Let's go Amsterdam, baby. Absolutely. <laughs> time to uh, time to re-trip, trying to take that DMT yes, once again. Uh, the games were announced for Vegas. What are they? They weren't. Were they? they, were, no, they were, I don't they, think they were. I will let you know. I'll no, let they, you know. I think it's going to be... Always Vegas, Ben. I, Vegas. I, I, <laughs> should we do a check of the Vegas numbers? Canberra's. No, dude. Warriors, Canberra. And Canberra's. I think Panthers, Google. the Whisper. Ma- Mike, you're a Googler. Can you quickly Google it? I believe. No, nothing's been nothing's been confirmed, dude. But I think you're right that it's Canberra, Waz, Penrith, and I I can't remember who the fourth one is. I'm just quickly scrolling through the team to jog my memory. Um, it might be the Doys. I think it's the Doys. Uh, teams revealed today, dude. It's in the really? news today. You can check the news hard enough. Let's have a look. I feel like I would have seen. Uh, that. We have. Uh, oh, I have to pay for the Daily I saw, Telegraph. I saw something about fucking them doing like uh, England versus someone and an NRLW match, but like nothing, not the real deal yet. No, I didn't see any real deal. What are we talking? Is this fake news? Don't tell me. Probably I've been fake news. Mm. You've been, yeah, you've wasted this entire segment. Um, and the last little bit of news, I don't want to talk about Corey Hawes, bro. Uh, we specifically NRL. Um, Corey Hawes, bro. Yeah. <laughs> He got into a fight in Q Cup <laughs> or New South Wales mm-hmm. Cup, brother. He sure did. It was a good fight. Look it up. Uh, it's try July, baby. Let's it, go. Oh, oh, it is. It is try July. Happy, happy try July. Yeah, that's nice. I know we we talked about this last year, but like, what's your what's your try July celebration <coughs> this year? Um, I'm gonna pretend to jerk off into the air and then go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's good. I like that one. <laughs> and then grab it. <laughs> Send it yourself, Ben. Uh, that was like the old come and catch, huh? The old come and catch. Oh, he's gotten a try. He's doing the come and catch. And then maybe the other teammates can get around me as well. And we can all pretend to catch it. <laughs> catch yeah. each other's. Yeah. What about what about a celebration where it's a bukkake and the uh-huh. balls and the ball is, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. just get basically gets spun on the head of the person. I thought you were going to say that all the other team members get on their knees around and the player who got the try has the ball and, like, jerks it off all in their faces. Oh, yeah. Oh, Center that's yourself. Awful. What are you doing over yeah, there? Yeah, what are you, what's going that's on, man? Like, Book Bukkake. <laughs> Football yeah. Bukkake. What are you doing, Matt? I, I, I like the Bukkake one, but maybe more like you you uh, score the try and then you lay down on the ground and all your teammates come around you and then, you know, pretend <laughs> to jerk off on you, right? <laughs> Um, or, or maybe what I could do is I got a couple ideas, right? The other one is to give myself a circumcision, like score the try, pretend like the ball's my dick, do a little snipping motion and then like pretend to throw the fork into the crowd. (laughs) That one's, I I don't mind that one. Yeah, that's Um, a good one. I also don't mind the idea of just like getting, you know how people, when they're adults, they get like baptized in like a river or something like mm-hmm. score. This, by the way, nothing to do with dicks. So I apologize. Um, <laughs> I apologize. that I'm off theme here. Uh, but like, imagine like you score the try and then just like do this and get your teammate to like, pretend to like dunk you in the, in the river. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing yeah. that, or like you could have maybe... another two behind to like low you down into the river. It would take yeah. four people. I think. Or you could get one of the water bottles off the trainer, get someone to essentially dip oh. you and then get someone else to oh, pour water yes. on you. And then water get bottles. Yes. Like that. Water bottle yeah. 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 This is Fucking all good stuff. Someone hire me as a uh, try July consultant. Yes. This should, that, <laughs> that's a job that we should have. Absolutely. That, Give me 85k, and I will for one month work my absolute foreskin off for your try. Try July. I'll have yeah. training. I'll have like little training days. We'll do extras yeah. after training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Workshopping. Yeah. yeah. What about this? Actually, this is genius. Try celebration competition in in on of itself, basically. Oh. So, yeah. so the team. So we go. To, we go to the bunker and they give a score, right? Uh, mm. yeah, well, I'm going to say the celebration could drag out for a few minutes, like a skit or a play, like really make a thing of it. <laughs> a proper play, like scoring the try, <laughs> walking through the door, <laughs> honey, I'm <laughs> home. What? <laughs> it could be like a part one, part two, every time you get a try. They're, they're, yeah. mic'd, up. they're mic'd up so the crowd can hear them. Yeah, scores the a change, try, walks, costumes, costumes, walks onto a set. The boom guy runs out there real quick. <laughs> yeah. They've yeah, there's like costume, costume change. changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Costume change. Yeah. There's a makeup oh. person. Oh my god. Oh, Lighting. 
All right. Anyway, uh, choreograph something, and then they get a score from a panel of judges, and then each team has one. Yeah. And that's a, and that's a that's a couple hour feature. That'd be great. That's yeah, not that like genius. It. You said it was genius, uh, <laughs> Benjamin. In this three, in this trio, you were the only one to take the Queensland Maroons. How do you feel about that? I've, I've in addition to my. This is where I've been self sabotaging. I've been doing a lot of last minute switches. Mm. Uh, Jeffrey was the only one to take the Bulldogs. Congratulations, Jeffrey. Yeah, uh, that was tight. Sucks to be Nico Hines right now, right? Yeah, I uh, swap. Last minute swap. Guilty. Yeah. Uh, who won? The Waz beat the the dog. The, do- the, um, the Broncos. The Donkeys, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Waz beat the Broncos. I had the Waz. No one else had the Waz. Fuck yous. Uh, Knights beat Parramatta. I really thought Parra were going to win there, right? Mm, it was Jeffrey tight. wants you to give him a shout out about. He just got one. About him just being at the leader board. So make the guy oh. happy. Say something. Well Fucking done. Jeff, get your legs, put them behind yourself, and come into your own mouth, cunt. You haven't won yeah. anything yet, except he like has... two years ago. Stop He's living gone. in the past, dude. He's Holy great. shit. Yeah. Um, good good, good pat, pat on the back, Jeff. Yes. I, I, don't, I don't know how old you are, but it, um, if you're requesting a pat on the back, uh, I don't know, maybe you need to check yourself. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. All things go around. Here, here, it all come. Uh, yes. We all, everybody had the storm. Uh, Jeffrey was the only one to take the dragons. Uh, very good job, I guess. I would have given you a shout out at this point. I would have realized. Good job. Um, mm-hmm. We all had the Panthers. Panthers lost. <laughs> uh, and we all had the Chookies. Chookies absolutely dominated the Tigers, which was mm. fun. I yeah. like that. We all saw that coming. That was great stuff. We saw it coming and we enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, stuff. Nice. nice. You guys, what do you guys feel like doing? Could you guys tip? Oh. No. Let's talk about our weeks that be. I'm moving house. This is the last time I'm recording from this place. The dress oh. is gone. The dress is yeah. gone. It was gone last week too. Wow. wow. The dress um, is gone. This is, so when this I, is a when weird I realized episode. That, when I realized that, I was singing, walking around singing, going, as we go on, mm. we remember. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know what's weird is it does it does look better, and congratulations for moving on for the dress, but there's something now I'm missing the dress. There's a part of me that's a bit oh, sad. Have to, oh, it had to get packed up. It'll be back. Don't worry about it. It'll be back. Um, I haven't yeah, moved on from anything. The same. You're going to make, make sure it's off-center and stuff? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I might considering... Even... I, I was just about to say, considering that like the dress is not up, I, I I'm not putting the usual editing on this episode. Like the the graphics, the music ain't gonna be here. Mm-hmm. Is this like a non-official episode? Is this is a non-regulation episode. I, I've come in firing. I'm unsanctioned. I'm taking this shit. I, I'm leading this shit to the fucking mountaintop, boys. We're going to the moon, cunts. <laughs> oh man! If only your audio quality was decent. <laughs> You're yeah. right. But yeah. it, they, they, it never is. Every one of you wants to um, I, I'm moving. I'm owning my own place next, so I might even just fucking paint the dress on the wall behind me. Yeah, <laughs> great idea. Get a I can do whatever artist I want. to draw that dress. Yeah, should, no, should we no, do? A, do we do a little life updates segment? Yeah. Ben, do you, do you have a life update for us? Also, you you, you could put I yourself on the screen. Do have yeah, a life great. update? Ben, are you close to owning property? Um, no, but I have an inflatable kayak now. Whoa, dude! Oh, wow! Woo! Nice, dude. That's fucking sick. Inflatable? You can. It's, 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 it's easily it's transportable. Not, it's not taking up a lot of storage in your house. Dude, it's genius. It, 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 I would say white waterable. Mm, fuck fuck yeah, yeah, dude. How Is there any people... white? Sorry, no, you go. How many people can fit in this kayak? One to two. One to two. Wow. Fuck, dude. That gives you options. Man. <laughs> I'm oppressed. What about well, you, Matt? How's dude, your life? There's a fucking, if there's a flood, there's a flood in the Gold Coast and you yeah. are on your rooftop and that saves your life, you're not going to be so fucking smart ass, are you? You're going to be like, oh, thanks. I'm so happy you bought a kayak. Dude, I'm entirely sincere right now. Like that is yeah. real. That's really impressive. You're you're that's like true. doing things in your life, dude. Oh, after oh. you blow it up, you're gonna be so thankful. I blown it up. It's already <laughs> blown. It's in my. I'm looking at it. It's blown up. Right it's blown me. up. Fuck. Look good. It's red. <laughs> just nice. The, nice. Like the idea that you're staying in someone else's house and you just bring an inflatable kayak like first thing. Yeah. 
<laughs> inflate it. And You're the worst the house room. guest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at my family's cunt. Okay. Yeah. You're the it's worst. okay. It's okay. It's, fine. it's okay. You you, you can in, you can inflate a kayak. Don't Bring the fly up Come to on. Me. Don't say things to me on this podcast you wouldn't be prepared to say in real life. Dude, I was roasting you at the baby shower constantly. <laughs> my <laughs> shoes, my <laughs> shoes have been getting me absolutely burnt to a crisp. Yeah, lambasted. <laughs> yes. I have been basted. But you know what? You know what they say? Talk good about me. Talk bad about me. Just talk about me. Yeah, like these these shoes, by the way, audience. He he wore some shoes at a baby shower he went to on the weekend. Hello. And and. They don't even look like Radiums. they they look like um someone tried radiance. to create shoes by fusing um a uh, a a camouflaged one piece like maybe like uh, what do you call them dungarees or something yeah and, and, like, and like high tops but with different material and they were camouflaged with a big fucking tongue coming out like yeah just huge the tongue, tongue. It, it was just like it it's, it, it, it looked like jealous. AI tried to create a shoe it was yeah. AI created shoe. It might have been. Jealous. You are. <laughs> you know? It's like it's like yeah. I mean, I, if I if I fuzz my eyes, it looks like a shoe. But when I concentrate on, it, I'm like something's not right here. <laughs> like you get you get rinsed. Sorry, sorry, Ben. Sorry, you get rinsed on this episode. We'll we'll reel it back in. We'll reel it back in. Sorry. Yeah, we'll how reel does, it back. How does what I um wear on my feet distract you from the depression of your own lives? Oh, it distracts me from the depression of my own life for sure, because it's funny. It's like watching a funny movie. Yeah, but it's, it's just it's just it's just it's a questionable temporary. fashion choice. You're just gonna accept eventually that the guy's wearing the shoes and be like, All right, what's next? You're gonna sit on that forever? The guy's shoes. Probably, yeah, no, I'd move up to your pants, your sweaty right. pits. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you came in yeah. sweaty, yeah. Speaking of coming yeah. in hot. To yeah. my dick. Um no, I'll skip that. Um you little Peter Dinklage dick. Um <laughs> Should we tip? I could tip. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, all right. First game we've got here, Thursday night. Uh, last night, I'm going to be staying in Brisbane. We've got Eels versus the Rabbitohs. Um, Eels in 16th, Rabbitohs in 14th. You would call it a poo slinger, but this is sort of going to be a close one. Uh, mm. Let me look at these teams. Uh, Clint Gutherson, he's so annoying, isn't he? He's so annoying to the referees. Right. If I was a ref, I would hate him. I used to love oh. Clint Gutherson, um, but he's annoying. Sorry, one of those... You never know who I'm going to come for. Yeah, yeah. He's um, so annoying. <laughs> Eat shit, Gutho. No way. Against factor. the Buns, um, I think I am going to take the Buns with this one. Uh, which one of you wants to take the first hit up? I'm at dummy half. Not me. I'm just... Yeah, I'll, Matt's I'll taking the first hit up. I'll put my hand up. Yeah, I mean, the Eels, they've lost Sivo. And by, by the way, guys, uh, as I said earlier, I'm, I'm coming into this episode with a different strategy here, okay? All season, I've been prepping. All season, I've been looking at the team's... I've been writing a document. I've been looking at past matches. It's not doing me any good, okay? And I figured my computer's died. I'm recording this on my laptop. I, so I've not prepped at all this week. I'm just, I, I've, I've just glanced at the teams. <laughs> I am going to just tip basically as we go through these matches. So I'm going to talk myself through this now. Okay. Okay. sevo has gone for the Eels. Luttrell, Cameron Murray back for the Rabbitohs after they were on origin duty. Your gut's telling me, ooh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's it's a slinger of poo, but there's a lot on the line here. I tipped the Eels last week. Couldn't get the job done. Rabbitohs, I think, have won four in a row? Like, the, the Fib Notch would tell me Eels win here, right? But the Fib Notch, oh, it's not strong enough for me to go against my gut. It's gut tip week, Rabbitohs. Benjamin. SEU fight of the century. Let's go, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I used to love when the SEUs would fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like watching a Pokemon battle. <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin, Eagles wrapped. You sand attack. Oh, Jesus. Well, I have, a, I have an expression. You don't tip the Eels unless there's any notch involved, and I'm not getting that notch here. Yeah. So buns, roll all the buns. Touch. Roll go bunnies. Uh, next game. Bros. Next game, the only Friday. No, no, not the only Friday. Sorry, uh, we have got the Sharks versus the Gold Coast Titans. Uh, Sharks need this one. 
Sharks really fucking need this one mm. if they want to stay in the top four. Titans coming off the bye, coming off of absolutely destroying uh, New Zealand. Don't mm. know if that can be replicated. AJ Brimson mm. is coming back. Uh, yeah, I like. We- I kind of like that. Like Jaden Campbell came back after AJ got in- injured. And now Jaden Campbell's injured. Now AJ's come back. If we can just keep these two on rotation like this, we might be yeah. able to have a full back line, right? Yeah. So we, we know that like they they both of them just can't stay fit. They're both so injury prone. Don't do that on camera. What are you doing? Yeah, can you squeeze that pimple? You stop picking There's at no your neck. Pimple. I'm just picking my hairs. I'm just playing with my stop hairs. Stop it. Shave yeah. them. Again, you know. Play with play with your beards, boys. Enjoy no, it. That's what you have. To- why else do you have face hair to play with? Time and place, Ben. Time and place. Time, yeah, time and place. Yeah. Time and place. Okay, everybody, right. everybody. Sorry, go on, Matt. Sorry, that's my bad. That's my we're, bad. We're, we're at work right now. We're at work. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm yeah. playing my character very well. As as I said, yeah, Brimson and Jane Campbell are always being injured, but if they're if they're constantly getting one gets injured and then one comes back, they've hopefully mm. synced up yeah, their injuries. Hopefully. Yeah. So we can, yeah, we can have a, a good team at all times. Um, but yeah, it's unfortunate that JC is out because he he's a really good goal kicker. I had yeah. no idea how accurate okay. he k- kicked eleven from eleven. It's fine uh, that he's out because we've got no, game. we haven't got a spot for him. That's fine. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Um, I am going to be tipping the Sharks for this one, even though yeah, Sharks mm-hmm. are on a slide, Titans are on the up. I just I feel like that if we're talking Fib Notch here, this is this is, the, pure this is the game. Fib Notch intersection right here. Don't you, this is this is the Notch unicorn. Right yeah, yeah. Here. This people, is the full. This yeah, is the exactly the full, like the Titans yeah. have just won by this like what sixty points. Notch. Yeah. And uh, what do the yeah. Titans do after that? You show you they show hope. They let you down. Yeah. Uh, then two the teams Sharks, are about to. To, to have a notch divergence at the same time, that's when you you tip the sharks. Yeah, yeah, notch. You you got to see when the notch divergence happens because that's when you got to be onto it because shit will happen. And in this case so scenario, they, I'm I'm thinking sharks win. Pick sharks, they let me down last week. I'm picking them this week. Full notch. Lock Full notch. Double notch. Double notch sharks. Yeah, uh, notch I, unicorn episode title. Love it. I no, I think it's you mushing it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, Why are you guys sitting? No, I'm sat. I have a chair behind me. Matt uh, yep. also right, has a chair see behind that? me. See right there? Boys standing. No. Good for um, you, man. I got a feeling about this one. Titans are more or less full strength. Sharks are on the slide. They, I feel like there's a bit of rattleness from the sharks. Ooh. I feel like they're rattled. Are you getting spicy right yeah, now? Yeah, I think I Mikey? am. And sharks... And I just He's had a, a step quick... behind us in the formula. He's in in the equation. I just had a yeah. quick look at it. Sharks lost to the Dolphins at home, I think. Yeah, points bet. Dude, carry the two and go over to the next line and look at the end of the equation. It's an arts intersection. Clear. Um, the pre Nart choice. They don't mind losing at home at all. Um, and I think I'm going to take the Titans. I think I'm going to stand on the Titans. Wow. I might flip. I'm going to go on the Titans. This this reeks to me of a famous Titans well, victory. Free notching all over your underwear right now. I can yeah. see it. No, this is good. This is good. Permeating through the fabric, all your pre notch. Yeah. All right. Next game, we have got the grand final rematch. We've got the Broncos. I can only assume at Suncorp versus the Penrith Panthers. Yeah. Um, Mm-hmm. More or less full strength with the, uh, you know, who is Nathan Cleary? I've not, have not seen this man in a long time. That's um, rugby league. Yeah. Ugh, fuck, the Broncos halfbacks suck. Not Ezra Mann, but Jock Madden. Mm. Um, this one, Panth. What are we doing here? We're taking the Panth. Even when they lose, we take the Panth. Matthew, who you got? Yeah, I mean, I... Spoiler alert, I will be tipping the Panthers here. Broncos, speaking of teams that are on a slide, uh, Ben, Ben. Benjamin. Ben, whatever you're doing, please stop. <laughs> just, he's just talking to his mom in the background. Yeah. Um, I'm, well, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to uh, keep talking. Can we mute him at all? Um, probably, we probably could. Um, I muted the participant. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. There Good job. Go. Okay. Good job. Um, okay. Yeah. Speaking of teams that are on a slide, oh, he's back now. Um, yeah. The Broncos have not won since Magic Round when mm-hmm. they beat the Manly Sea Eagles by one point. Fuck, slide is ever since. Ago. That was a long time ago. And uh, but they get Walsh, Carrigan, Haas back 
they got rested from their game against Warriors last weekend, as probably expected. Um, Panthers get all their origin stars back because they rested a bunch as well. Uh, it's at Suncourt. Broncos need to win, uh, but and Panthers still no Cleary. But I mean, I'm not going to tip against the Panthers here, even though they just lost to the Cowboys, you know. Mm. But without their team, with their players, I'll be tipping the Panthers. But I think, let's say, I'll I think it'll be close. I think the Broncos will put up a fight here. Should be good. Ben, who do you, who you got for this one? <laughs> He's muted. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to unmute him. Uh, I I. There we go. He's, there yeah, there we you go. go. You've nice. got the strength. There we go. This is this is an example of a lateralized pre-notch intersection <sighs> where mute him again. <laughs> <laughs> Panthers. Panthers. Okay. Yeah. La- lateralized pre-notch intersection should be the title. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm writing it thank down. Thank you. I thank you for giving me a title for one. <laughs> no, you just got. You can't want it. You got to just earn it. Like it's. Yeah, it's, it's not something you just go. Oh, that's the title. Something for the Yeah, day. you can't yeah. ask for it. Okay? Yeah, you got to say it, it. and then you just think about it and go, "Yeah, that's it." That's yeah. judge. Um, next game we have got the Dogs versus the Waz. This should be a really good game. Saturday, 3 p.m. Uh, dogs, heavy favorites. I don't mm. know about that, hey. Um, Toby Sexton in the halves. Yeah. At least Sean Johnson's not playing anymore. Should be a really good game. I'm really not sure who to tip for this one. Uh, Benjamin, you can go first. What do you Dogs. think? Um, Dogsmith in Dogtown? Yeah, I don't know why I went against the Dogs last week. You know, I went, I tipped the Sharks, and Dogs are in for the fight. They're the Dogs are good. good. Good defense. I'm They're very defensive. to talk to Nick McCarthy's dad because he's the only dogs, true dogs fan that I know, other than myself. Uh, the dogs are great. I love them. I hope they make top four. Yeah. Did you buy some dogs shorts yet? No, not yet. No, they're so expensive, dude. The good ones, they're like forty nine bucks. Fuck that. Good shit. Uh, maybe. Uh, the ones with pockets that are like nice material, they're so expensive. Not worth it. Uh, Matthew, who you got for this one? Yeah, I mean. Dogs are favourites. I can see why they are favourites mm-hmm. because they are, they've they been on a bit of a run. They're in fifth. They're doing well. Uh, Defence is some of the best in the league. Warriors, yeah, sure, they got the job done against the Broncos, but the Broncos were missing a lot of players. Mm-hmm. Um, and, so, and they're at home. So that's probably not as impressive to me. That's just one good win. Warriors so inconsistent. Definitely have this, uh, the capability to win this game. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if they do. But I will be tipping the Bulldogs. Yeah, they've been they've been really good. What can I say? They've been strong. Yeah, I'm gonna back my dogs. What is that? The Cameron Seraldo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. All right. Storm. Ben. Oh, he's uh, been taking doggies. Yeah, of course. Next game is West Tigers versus Storm. Storm. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean. He's... What's to talk about? Like, let's 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 goose it up let's a little give, bit. Let's give let's. <laughs> when did the? It all depends on when did the Tigers last win? When did the Tigers last win? Like two weeks ago, I think. Hang on, so, let me look. I need to get get the old fib out here. All right, it uh, wasn't last week. Yeah, uh, the Tigers the Tigers beat the Titans, right? A couple weeks ago. No, they beat the Raiders on the twenty third of June. Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. All right, yeah. they, lost, they won a couple, got smoked. As expected. I mean, the Storm, still no Munster, no Harry Grant in this game either. Um, Tigers have John Bateman back. I mean, I mean, are, are they going to win? Probably not, right? Probably not. They are a team in the NRL. I can confirm that. They are one of the 17 teams. Yeah. They do have 17 players that are getting named for a game. 13 players on the field at any given time, notwithstanding Sinbins or send-offs. Um, their players can tackle, their players can run, their players can pass balls and do other rugby league related skills. Can yes. confirm all that. Are they going to win this game? No. No, I don't think so. There might be an alternate universe in which they can, but we don't live in that one. Yeah. Not yet. Not until we yet. figure that out. There's no. still time, but I doubt it's going to happen before Saturday, 5.30 p.m. Yeah, so just science technology is not at that level yet. We don't know. Okay, we're not quite there yet. Benji's working hard. Yeah, he's, he's working hard. <laughs> Be rest he's assured. Over it. Cunt's Benji over. Marshall is working hard at this. Benji checked out months ago, dude. Mentally, he's yeah. checked out. 
Yeah, he's mentally he's in Bali. Um, yeah. Benjamin Storm. Uh, yeah, the, the Tigers just don't have enough smoke smithery at the moment. Maybe next year for the Tigers. Maybe with the Jerome sense. Luais. Maybe, maybe, maybe Jerome, maybe Jerome makes them better. I don't know. Probably, maybe, not by much. Uh, next game, we have got the Doys versus the Manly Sea Eagles. I could not think of anything worse than watching these two teams versus each other. Um, someone else say something. I've that got seems to like say a boring game. game, doesn't sure. it? Such a what? boring game. Dude, that's the most flaccid... Ugh. Well, I mean, there's a bit to talk about in this game, guys. Okay. Because we we have Tom Trebojevic coming back from injury, playing playing at center. center. That should be fun. You think he roams? (laughs) Oh, he'll roam in attack. I think defense is where they'll save him. Mm -hmm. And when they get into, you know, like the enemy territory 30 meter line, I think he probably takes over fullback. And Kula, who has been named a fullback, I think he attacks from center. Uh, That would make sense to me. Makes sense, yeah, for sure. Mm. Um, yeah, Ugh. I look at these teams, and I think Manly, right? I'm thinking Manly. Wow, what are you doing, Ben? Just the stars. How do you pick this game? This is the hardest game. This is so hard. Um, and I think I am going to take Manly for this one. I think they're due. Mm-hmm. Um, the Doys are going to be rattled by the old man leaving to go to the Chooks. Uh, so I'm going to take Manly. What do you think, Benjamin? I I can't answer this yet. I'm going to just do some notching. Get back to me on that one. <laughs> Matthew, yeah, just, what do you think about this one? Just, yeah, <laughs> run some notch on this. Yeah. Um, Cowboys, I mean, without their origin players against the Panthers, who are also out without their origin players, beat the Panthers. So there's that something. Now they're back at home. I think still technically in the top eight. I can't remember. They're sitting yeah. around, around that. Um yeah, Manly. I mean, these two teams, by the way, the ladder, extremely congested in that middle uh, of the ladder. All the 70 teams are on like, you know, eight, seven wins. Sea Eagles, as we discussed, a little bit of a change up for Tom Trebojevic. which see how that goes. They get yeah. Terry Evans, Olakowatu back. If I could speak to what you just said, just to add credit to it. Mm-hmm. Um, here, here are the points that uh, the teams are on. In 13th, uh, the Warriors are on 17. Uh, 12th, 11th, 10th, uh, the Broncos, Raiders, and Knights are on 18 points. Mm. Uh, Manly, 19 points, just ahead there. And then 8th, 7th, 6th, and 5th, uh, the Dragons, Doys, Dolphins, Dogs, respectively, are all on 20 points. Yeah, So crazy. So what is, what is that? Three competition points between 5th and 13th. That's yeah, it's fucked. wild. It's wild. It's anyone's game. Yeah. Yeah, you get a team go, get on a bit of a run, three or four wins in a row, like that you, you, you're sewing up a top eight spot almost and, at that point. And what does that mean for the Doys versus the Manly Sea Eagles? I have decided to go with pure gut. Mm, pure gut. Mm, mm, what's, what's my oh, gut telling me here? That's not your gut. It's, it's, it's down here. Yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to go with the Cowboys. I'm okay. saying Cowboys win here. Um, similar to how I tipped them a couple weeks ago, I said they got a lot of origin stars. Their origin stars are in origin mode, and they're going to switch on to a high level of play here. Even though the Manly Seagulls have a couple origin stars, not as many as the Cowboys. I'm going cows. Okay. Bench, what's the notch say? What do your notch eyes see? Mm. Sorry. <laughs> Manly. Good job. Manly, <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next game. This should be a good one. The Anzac Day Memorial Round. Uh, we have got the Chookies versus the Dragons. Um, every time I tip, it says it needs authentication required, which makes me nervous. Um, who is replacing... Oh, it's probably Michael Jennings. Um, I was going to say mm-hmm. Manu, Joey Manu. Let me look at these teams. Look at me look at these teams here. Yeah, let me see. What is this? Um, yeah, Chooks, 13 plus. Chooks 24 plus. Oh, 13 plus. I mean, Dragon's been good. Dragon's have been good. Um, I'm going to set, actually, I'm going to set the margin to six. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to set the margin to six. I feel that that's safe. That's a safe margin. Um, mm. But I am still going to take the Chooks. The Dragon's have been good, but the Chookies are better. Look at them. They're just better. They are better. You'd think, I would say. 
Dragons definitely have a chance to win this game. I will be tipping the Roosters also by six points is also my margin. Yeah, obviously missing Manu hurts, but I mean, they'd, yeah, Jennings, he'll he'll do a job. Uh, Dragons get Lomax back, who got rested last week. Yeah, I mean, and also, by the way, the Roosters have been extremely strong this year at their home stadium, Allianz Stadium. I don't know if they've lost any matches, if maybe one at max, two. They've been really good there. I think they win. Benjamin, Chook Drag. What? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Final game of the round, we have got the Canberra Raiders versus the Newcastle Knights. A uh, lot of shit games this round. A <laughs> lot of games I don't want to watch. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is this is a is it there's a bit going on. Kale really Tom is grind. back. Oh, yeah. really grind at the moment. Boys. Yeah, this is it. We're we're past the halfway mark at this point, I think, right? Oh yeah, definitely. This is terrific. Good, good. Congratulations on being halfway through the season, boys. FYI, good stuff. Good job. Um, yeah, Kalen Pong is back. That's exciting. Mm. Um, and also, the, the Raiders have decided to move Ko Weeks to fullback. Yeah, um, they've Jordan been going Rampen are back on the wing so he can yeah. fucking shoulder into people and put them into the crowd. That's his favorite thing to do. They're they're playing someone called Adam Cook at halfback, who I'm not sure if he's even a person. He's definitely a cash out option for sure. Uh, but right? he's, yeah, I I don't know. I would have, <laughs> speaking of fantasy, Jamal Fogarty will be due back soon, so don't oh, worry. Okay, all right, all right. Um, all right. but yeah, I mean, he Rick, Ricky's changing things up. Winks at fullback. Rapana's going to the wing. Hapawadi's going to center. Adam Cook again, never heard of you. Halfback. There's a bit going on in this team, yeah. but I mean, Knights. Knights have been. Uh, yeah, I mean, recently I I didn't tip them last week. Maybe I should have beat the Eels, and but they've they lost to the Panthers in the Storm recently as well, but by very small margins. Um, they've been, you know, putting up putting up a bit of a fight. Will Price went pretty well for them last week on his yeah. debut. I feel like everybody's just sort of forgotten about the Knights a little bit, right? Yeah, like they were sort of hot at the start of the season, and yes, they are one of the seventeen teams. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're just sort of forgotten about there. Like they're not probably not going to make the finals, and that might upset them a little bit. So they're trying that little bit extra harder. Mm. Like no one in the media is talking about the Knights right now, right? Like it's all it's all roosters. Yeah. Ricky's blowing up about the refereeing, but um, I'd be careful of your glass house there, Ricky. Yeah, um, is. Everybody's talking about the dogs, the panther, the bronc, the sharks. Uh, the eels, the rabbitos. No one's talking about the knights, you know. And maybe that's one of those things where they're not in Sydney, uh, like what, the Titans rarely like get spoken a, about. Mm. What would be like a menu equivalent? Like if you look like three quarters down a menu, what would be something on the menu uh, of a restaurant? Oh, it's one for the like, knights. It's like the chicken panna cotta or something it's like, like a tuna that. It's like pasta or something. Yeah, it's a part. The yeah. knights are a pasta dish for sure. It's a tuna pasta with like the spirals or the tubes or something. Yeah, no, I'm good. It's just there to be on the menu. You know, like yeah. so you know how some things are not actually on the menu, but they're there. And when you act, when you order it, the chef wigs out. And like, it's always yeah. shit too. You yeah, Jess, get... Jess and I went to a seafood restaurant once, and she ordered the steak, and I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" That's not on the menu. And she's like, it's on the menu. It's on the menu right here. And it came out and it was dog shit. And I was like, yeah, because yeah. we're at a fucking seafood restaurant. Don't tip yeah. the knights. We're at a seafood restaurant. Don't tip the <laughs> knights. You're yeah. right. Right. But, I'm, but I'll be <laughs> tipping the knights in this game. Yeah, I too am going to be taking the knights. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. What's Tuna panna cotta. Canberra is like a fucking... Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Cannelloni or something. Who who have you got for this one, Benjamin? The the uh, what what are those folders? Pizzas? The calzones? Yeah, calzone. <laughs> Delicious. Always hot. Oh, good calzone. Um, I'm gonna tip the uh the calzones at home. Yeah, the Newcastle the calzones. <laughs> oh, the Raiders. Yeah. Okay, all right, that's fair. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the panna cotta. Um, all right, that is that's it. That's 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 that's, that's, that's the tips. That's the tips. We did the tips, right, boys? We did the tips. Those um, tips. next section, according to my list here, is the uh, the YouTube comments. Could you guys want to look? You want to hear what the what the fans had to say? Good I don't know mind. what this bit that I'm doing is, but it's a little Morty-ish. It's a little Mike Morty. Yeah, it's very like Morty. It. I, I, I like don't it. know, Rick. I like I how we do characters, Mike. Comments, Rick. <laughs> um, all right. Comments. Look, oh. 
William Pearson, I know you're not watching, but I'm not reading out your round 17 tips. Get fucked. Um, he does he run his after that. of his tips? Yeah, no, he gave his tips. Um, <laughs> Who the fuck cares about that? <laughs> literally no one. Uh, but he does say, go Queensland Maroons. Uh, so you can grit your teeth and just shove a piece of shit down your throat, no, William Pearson. Eat no, that. Read his tips. We read everything in the comments for his tips. I'm not going to. Uh, Rugby League History writes, uh, I think with St. George that although they have Cook, Hunt, etc., that well, they don't have Cook yet, uh, their squad is still very weak on paper. A lot of their more well-known players are all on the wrong side of 30. Cook will be 35 when the deal ends, and he's on the decline. Uh, Hunt is 35, and I think they rely so heavily on him to get the job done, plus Lomax is leaving. I think they are very... I can't read the rest of that. I'm sorry, Rugby League history. I think they're very shit, I think is what he's going to say. And they're going to be in a spot. Yes, I agree. Flash in the pan now for the Dragons, but long term, no bueno. Mm. No bueno. Yeah. Yeah. I do I, I do sense. see the, the Raiders Knights little notch intersection, actually. Micro, micro little. Oh, that'd, that'd be a great thing to bring up during that segment. Uh, the next comment we've got is from Epic Armadillo. <laughs> uh, Knights nearly beat Storm and Panthers, so if they don't beat the Eels, I'll be shocked. Fuck! This cunt's on fire! Yeah. He I feel like he stuff. only gives good advice. Right? Well, no, do, uh, uh, no a few times he's been wrong. A few okay, times all right. he's been wrong. All right, we should have a leaderboard. I should get a whiteboard at my new yeah. place. We can he's, have our, co- our top commenters and when, every time they're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we're, we'll have our uh, top comment for the year award oh, at yeah. the end, I'm sure. Yep. For sure. I thought about that recently. Let's do yeah. comment of the year and then commenter of the year. Yeah, commenter. Um, commenter of the year. It's one award. It's one award. Yeah, okay. Uh, my mum, Liz H, says, so happy about Wish Girl. Yeah, thanks, Liz. <laughs> thanks, Liz, for, thanks, uh, for tuning in. Me, oh, by the way, Wish Girl and I, we're, we're, we're still going strong. Going steady. Nice. Yeah, we're, go- we're going steady. Can yeah, you let me a- know when it's official? When the I'll, conversation's I'll, been had? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll let you know. She's coming over yeah. for a little movie night tomorrow night. So Don't don't rush it. Don't rush it. Yeah, okay, don't. It cool. yeah, it's a great, it's a great don't tip. Don't rush it. It's a great maybe tip. Even just, maybe even just cancel. Just be like, hey, sorry, I had something come up. Cancel yeah. the movie night. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to keep this podcast secret from her for as long as oh, I can. Yeah, bro. And I was getting lunch with her on the weekend, and um, I accidentally, <laughs> so I was like talking about my week, and I was like, mm-hmm. and Tuesday I got to do just the tip. Oh. <laughs> and she's like, "Oh, it's alright. I'll, I'll probably forget." Yeah, if you nice. if you if you're watching, watching this, this, watching this, close the tab, close, close it. the tab, close, close it. the tab, close get it. out of here, get out of here. This is man stuff. This is man stuff. You're just supposed to know. <laughs> um, I don't know what Jeff means by this. He writes banger after banger after banger. Uh, I think he's referring to the quality of our episodes lately. I think so. That's yeah. what I thought at first, but like. He's a vindictive little bitch, so I don't know what he means by this. Mm-mm. No, I think I, I think he's in a good mood because he's at the okay. top of the tipping ladder. Uh, uh, and I, th- I think he's just giving us a compliment. So thank you, Jeff. Uh, I, I have thought our episodes recently, up until now, uh, have been good. <laughs> we've been doing okay. I think we've been <laughs> doing okay as well. And DWS Reviews writes, wait, where's history of football? We've got history of rugby league, but not football. Oh, He's not, he's not giving us the triple. Um, DWS Reviews, my review of the channel. It's a very funny channel. The humor and banter isn't forced or pre-scripted. It's very natural, and the chemistry between the hosts is great. The rugby league talk is also not p- politically correct or watered down like you get on some other channels. Yeah. Mm. And I thank agree. Four, four out of five circs for us. Yeah, That's four out stuff. of five circs. That's it. Th- thank you for your review. That's very very kind of you. Yeah, it's a good review. Yeah. Mm. Um, the channel, be sure to tune in for our Cirque Awards coming in a couple months. Couple get months. your suits. Uh, mm-hmm. Seven, eight, Suit nine. Yeah. Skins. Get it together. Um, I'm excited for the Circuit Awards. Should be a good year. Absolutely. Yeah. Strong year. <laughs> I'm excited. I don't know what I'm going to do to you, Ben, but I am going to fucking. You're going to get thrown. I'm going to figure something out. I'm going to pay Harry like a hundred bucks to just go and knock on your door or something and just r- rattle you. I got to figure out a way to rattle you. Why would you think mm. that Harry's so cheap that you would accept a hundred bucks for that? <laughs> He's pretty cheap. You're saying something about Harry? Uh, I'll figure out some. I'll have to think about it. I'll figure something out, some way to rattle uh, you. Need a new, you need a new bit. The scared bit's done. We need something else. 
What? I've gone back and watched that circus. It's so funny. It's so funny. What if I give birth at the circus? <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Um, should we do a hypothetical? Do you have one ready, Benjamin? Um, would you rather... <laughs> Would you rather wear my ridiculous shoes every day for the rest of your life mm-hmm. or lose your dick? <laughs> well, for how long? Oh, by the way, you're wearing the shoes 24-7. Oh, I can't. Oh. i got to sleep in them. you got to shower in them. They're going to be moldy as fuck, dude. What if uh, I can wear them you until never they, take they, them off. they fall off of their own accord? Is that allowed? No, well, you can't, like, actively cut them off. No, I'm not. There's, I just have to... They just fall off of their own accord. That's fine. Because I'll yeah, walk like the you, fucking you, shit out of those yeah, dog yeah. shit shoes. Wear, wear them to death. <laughs> no, this is what happens. If you break through them... This is how fucked it is. I replace them with an equally as gross one in the same condition. So I basically... I, I, I'm aging. I've got I've got a factory of just these getting aged in the background, ready oh, to. Yeah. This is very Pre, well pre-aged but sturdy shoes. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> lose my dick. I think I'm gonna take the dick. <laughs> the dick, Matt. <laughs> this is a really tough one because it's, <laughs> it's honestly it might be one of the hardest hypotheticals we've been asked this year. I could wear a strap on. You know what? I'm going to get the shoes. I'm going to show you the shoes while Matt thinks about it. Give me two seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah go fine. get the shoes. Don't I mean, trip over your inflatable kayak. <laughs> on one hand, yeah, you're wearing shoes literally every single waking moment of your life, and the shoes are going to be Just really, really gross. And you have to wear it everywhere you go. I hate wearing uh, socks to bed. I can't. Like, yeah, yeah, that's a really hard situation. On the other hand, no penis. <laughs> so that these are the shoes. Yeah, these, these are the are shoes. Show, show, the us the show us yeah, the tongue. Show us the tongue. Get that tongue out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, it's just yeah, fabric. That. That's not, it's, yeah, it's that's not normal to have that on your shoe. It's like a napkin. Yeah. It's got water <laughs> vents. It's great. It's, yeah. It's... I, I think I'm going to um, I think I'm gonna wear the shoe. I don't want to lose oh. my penis. I, I, I like, I like, it's like coming yeah. and jizzing too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you'd have a hole. You can pee and jizz out of the hole yeah you don't come, lose your and, balls, yeah. come and orges you know what i mean yeah no ben what are you gonna take you could also like tape your balls up into like a cylindrical tight gets a bunch of like electrical tape and make a penis shaped ball yeah i mean you could do that mm. yeah that's that's fair um would hurt thummy? So oh. should we do a thummy where's your hypothetical you got one no, nah. I never do. A, I never do a hypothetical. He do. doesn't do hypotheticals, man. Matt, on the spot, I came out with mine. What do you got? I've been, I've been making up hypotheticals for you in your absence for the last yeah, four weeks. Been, yeah, I've been gone for like a month, dude. Well, you know what? I did the heavy lifting this week. All that. Wow, you wow, did the heavy lifting. You, you reckon the heavy lifting with with your little yeah. weak but little weak little back? Ben, 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 huh. you've, you've 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 not lifted heavy. Uh, yeah. it, in the in the history of this podcast, yeah, it's been three years. Uh, did you see my editing back in the day? It was on the first episode. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh yeah, no, that's you did you do do some editing at the start there. Anyways, what? um, yeah, I I could do a thumb. That's dumb. I've earned my office, dude. <laughs> I've earned this view. <laughs> I've earned this fucking lake view, dude. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Lateralize pre-notch intersection. Um, I, I think I'm just going to be confused. Oh, and I want to do a is it easier if I, It's easier if I've got nothing in the background. Ben, you fucking love props, dude. You yeah, cannot yeah, be told. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, You've you got can't. the background and the prop. You can't have both. Yeah, look, look, the, the, the screen is not keeping up. You, you need to get rid of that shoe. Yeah, is that good? Yeah, I think that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Well, Benjamin. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching another. This is where the music would be. Get yourselves a kayak. When, when we're at State of Origin and we were leaving the the apartment, someone said, 
Ben take us out. And that was fucking heads up. I don't know yeah. who the fuck said that. That was eyes up footy. That was so yeah. funny. Yeah. <laughs> that, was a, that was a chip and chase right there. Thank you, everybody. Okay, goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye.